Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Day of the Tentacle Remastered. Now, thanks to a little bit of trickery, we were able to procure a stamp from Weird Ed. So, let's go ahead and use the stamp with the contract. Now we can send it in. This is no good. It isn't signed. Oh, crap. Who do we need to get signed by, though? Oh, Ed has to sign it. Crap. Forgot about that. Okay, well, let's send the contract back to Bernard. And we might as well go... Tentacle rescues and returns Emerald. Uh-huh. Lure them into a false sense of uh, confidence. So we'll head up here. We have. Did you say you have a PP41 facilities paraphernalia declaration over there? Nope. Hmm. Wait a minute. We gotta head. We gotta talk to these guys. Definitely. What do you suppose the Dodgers are doing. Well, their win-loss ratio is 28 percent below normal. However, the successful slide margin is actually up three points since May. They said. Notice that they seem to do well with a man on first after a fly ball when the opposing pitcher is left-handed wearing a green hat. They seem like a fun bunch. Fascinating. Is that a W390B frivolous spin? What is it? Are you guys brothers? At the IRS, we're all brothers. <laughs> Men in black. What have you done with Dr. Fred? We've got him safely locked in the next room while we go over his books. No, you can't go in and see him. And don't even think about staging some kind of rescue. Who's your tailor? Very funny. I'll just be moseying along. Keep your nose clean, kid. Hmm. Did you say you have a PP41? So we got the... Oh, we got a peephole. Let's go ahead and check that out. Nope. Dr. Fred's lying on the bed wrapped in red tape. That's ironic. Good thing we've got Dr. Hey, you can't go in there. All that red tape ought to keep him busy. So, I think we're pretty about? much done there. And we got Ed... Oh, wait a minute. Can we... Monitor... No, we can't look at anything up there at the, in their room. Well, then. Interesting. We may have to... Um, Head over to Laverne and see what we need to do here. We've got coffee, decaf. What was the textbook? The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. Hmm. Flyer, help wanted, Swiss bank book. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Wait a minute. Could we give the Swiss bank book to the IRS agents? I don't know if that would probably more hinder us than help, but we'll see. I can't believe what a mess these records are. Hmm. Thanks, but as you can see, we're sort of busy. Oh, they don't want so you have a people They don't want it. Facilities paraphernalia declaration over there. Uh, videotape, nope. fake barf. Is that a W390B frivolous spending report? Hmm. No, it's another fine sixty-one eight. Contracts not seem to open. Contracts probably not going to uh, work either. I'd rather not. Good call. Good thing we've got Doctor Fred under wraps in the next room, huh? Well, we've checked everything else, I think. And I don't think we're. I don't think we can send anything to Laverne right now. So let's go ahead and switch over to her for the first time. And we've got some cards. We've got the future versions of Edna, Ed, and Dr. Fred here. Best not bother them. They're busy cheating. Hey, they can cheat. You can't. Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, 
Not to mention the whole human race. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. Huh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. I can tell you that macrame is indeed a talent. And then we got the door and the tentacle guard. Now, if memory serves, we need to go... Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? There we go. We have to uh, do one of the oldest prison break tricks in the book. I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Now, if the Chronogon's still back here... Is there anything else we should be aware of? What a shabby paint job. Hmm. Oh, we got a window here. We can... It's already open. Well, let's use it then. I can see Dr. Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. Hmm. So, uh, the thing is, I'm not exactly sure what we need to grab uh, from the Chronogon. So, let's head back here, because I know we can, we can continue to come back here as needed. This guard is actually quite tolerant. You Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Now we can go to another room here in the mansion. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. I beg your pardon? Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, he's gonna leave us alone. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Sit, Naboo, sit. I have to say, Laverne here reminds me of what I would assume 
uh, Luna Lovegood from the Harry Potter films would end up being human chart, tentacle chart. I still don't understand how they can eat through a sucker. We can grab that, can't we? Aha! License to treat tentacles for the betterment of the tentacle race. License to euthanize humans for the betterment of the tentacle race. They've got the spleen mixed up with the liver. Oh, I've got plenty of those at home. Oh, do you now? Oh! Hello, hello? Oh, I don't know which door is which. Now you can see, we've got the folks here from the human show. There is George Washington. Not sure about the rest of them. Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. I learned. Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? Oh gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the hair competition in the bag. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your owner is going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Breathtaking. Well then, good luck. Who needs luck when you've got beauty? Hi. No, oh, I guess they're not going to talk. Looked like they've got hit with Joker gas. We got the grandfather clock. He looks like a real stiff. Indeed, and probably because he's there, we couldn't get into the grandfather clock. Let's see if we can talk to him. Hi, I'm Laverne. That's regrettable. Perhaps you should see the doctor. <laughs> now be off with you. I like that. What's upstairs? Nothing that you need to worry about. An old time capsule and some worthless human relics. And, of course, the showroom. Off limits to humans, naturally. Except for the showroom. I'll be off with you. There's a fashionable mustache for a tentacle. Nice clock. Rather, no one is to touch it. Especially humans. I'll be off with you. Now, ooh, what's the plaque say? This 400-year-old clock is an amusing example of primitive human timekeeping. Now, let's ask about the mustache. Aw, that doesn't, it won't let me do it again. Oh, well. You look sort of dopey standing there with the net. Hmm. Huh. That's probably all that we're going to get. Now, this is the way outside, if I remember correctly. Now, is this going to take us back to the cell? No, I think this is the one that takes us to the cells. We got a fireplace. Oh, blue tentacle. He looks a lot like my Uncle Reggie. Hi, I'm La... Ooh-wee, you are one ugly human. Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest homo sapien I've ever seen. Aww. Are you 
trying to tell me something? Yeah, you're a real wolf. I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. Now, Laverne has a scalpel. I remember that as her as her starting item. Can we use that against this guy? What is this, a beauty contest? Yes. Oh. Well, I don't know if you could really call a human show a beauty contest. It's more like a least ugly contest. Hmm. Human show? Hot dang, sign me up. Sorry, humans can't sign themselves up, no matter how ugly they are. Go ask your owner to sign you up. Ask him to sign you up for a haircut while they're at it. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Now, oh, there's the kennel. So we don't need to go back in there because we'll get caught. So it's the closest thing to like the old maniac mansion getting thrown in the dungeon. So let's see what is through here. Recycle, recyclatron, microwave, monitors. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. Ah, okay, we can't use the Recyclatron right now. Nothing in the microwave. Green hole. Remove specimen here. It says opener. Weird. White hole. Ooh. The label is hard to read, but I think it says something about a rhesus monkey. It says medulla oblongator. The future, folks. <laughs> Never mind. Check this out. Well, we've got the cabinet. Anything? Nope. Well, I guess they don't wear clothes, so they don't have to worry about this. Open the dryer. Hmm. You know, this would actually... That'd give us a blanket, wouldn't it? Hold on a sec. Let's go to Hoagie. Set in the blanket to burn. I don't think I can put that in the Chronogon. Oh, we can't put the blanket in the Chronogon. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we got a technical chart. Let's go ahead and put give that to Hoagie. I know what we got to do with that. I can't get to the Chronogon from here. Oh, can we not? I thought we could just leave the mansion, if we felt so inclined. I guess not. Let's, uh, check the fireplace. Yeah, there's the flag. That's what we're needing. Got the window. I don't think we can open them. There's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there anyway? It's a two-story drop to the... Showroom floor. Meanwhile... Tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Ugh. I'm talking right, that's enough, son. Yeah. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. <laughs> Jay Brain, what are we going to do tonight? <laughs> Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Well, let's just try and go through the front door then. Hold it. Don't. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. And we're on that. So let's go use the bathroom again. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? 
I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. He's Come very. On, let's take a walk. He's very understanding. Okay, human, do your business. All right, so. Check this out. I thought this was actually pretty ingenious. We take the tentacle chart, and now we will send it to Hoagie. And we should have that. Yes, we do. Now, we are about to completely mess up the timeline here, but it's all right. Humans can, uh, humankind can stand to have a little bit more, um, interesting things happen. Now, is this, no, that's George's bed. Remember, we gotta do something there, too. Now, we take the tentacle chart. And... <laughs> Windsocket to me. And there's our costume. So now we go back to Laverne. And I think that's all we need to do at the moment. We're going to have free reign of the future here in a second. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Now we need to go talk to the doctor again. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Well, I bet the food's pretty lousy. And the doctor's already gone, but that's okay. Now we head back up the chimney. And we should be in good shape. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, crap. We need the crank box. Um... Alright, Hoagie. I forgot about that. So I think if we head up here... Like, we can go out the window, can't we? Alright, cool. Oh, we got a pulley. We got to find some way to... Oh, wait a minute. We can go up the chimney. We can go up the chimney with uh, Bernard. I didn't even think about that till just now. Because I'm a genius. Up we go. Like reverse Santa. Now we grab the crank. Rap sheet kleptomaniac. Indeed. And now we send that to Laverne. And we're gonna have to go through. Waited but never picked it up. So we're gonna have to uh, do all of that over again. So give me one sec, guys. All right, here we go. I was getting, getting slightly tired of hearing Mr. Tentacle Guy. And use crank with the crank box. All right. Oh no, I didn't. Bah. <laughs> use it. Guess we gotta use crank. There we go. Do you have a flag? No flag, no disguise. All right, now I believe we can go ahead and move around the mansion here without having to deal with the kennel anymore. Let's see if uh, Blue Tentacle here is actually a little bit more Hello, I'm a tentacle. friendly. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best lamp. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. 
Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. Uh-huh. Funny how that works out. Now, I believe, now that we are tentacle, we can open the grandfather clock, maybe? Sorry, I'm under strict orders from tentacle number one, the almighty elder, the Grand Puma Purple Tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. Ah. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> and a darned attractive one, I might add. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. You heard the man escape. You're talking to the wrong people. We like it here. We are celebrities. Yeah, it's one of those, uh... <laughs> is it slavery when you get what you want? I think Vegeta said that in uh, Dragon Ball Z. Well, I know we can head up the stairs now. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. Now, the ice machine is here. I'm trying to remember what we do with it. Ah, I remember. Um, Ed's not gonna like this, but... Holy crap, look at that literal red tape. Or right, well, we can go back to that in a sec. Let's see if we can rescue Dr. Fred. Bernard, that was a really good knot. Dr. Fred must still be asleep. As you, you can see the resemblance to uh, Dead Cousin Ted now in this state. Well, we've got some coffee. Hmm, I don't know. It's powerful stuff. Yeah. The I'd rather not. The decaf's not going to work. Decaf wouldn't help there. And regular coffee wouldn't. Hmm, I don't know. It's powerful stuff. Wait a minute. No time for fun now. I've got to get him out of here. Oh, I thought that we used that, the funnel, for his mouth. We still have all the red tape, too. Uh-oh. Hey. Where'd he go? Ah, there you are. There's no escape from the IRS. Now, if memory serves, what we gotta do is switch over to Laverne, and then we'll send the scalpel to Bernard. And I believe he uses the uh, scalpel to get Fred free of the red tape. I might hurt him. Oh, never mind. That must have been just something I had tried out at one point. Send the scalpel back to Laverne. And let's go ahead. We got a little bit of time left in the episode. We're going to do a little bit of cryogenics to end the day. Because Laverne needs some assistance. And the best way that we can assist... I think actually we can use the scalpel on the clown. I'm trying to remember what we can use the scalpel with. Now we've got ice in the ice chest. And we've got, the ha we've got Weird Ed's hamster. Sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. He doesn't seem particularly pleased with it. And we close the ice machine. And then go to Laverne. And then open said ice machine. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. And grab... The frozen hamster. Ugh, it's worth it, Laverne. That chill. But we're making some progress, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and we'll continue on next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time.
Later days, everyone.